What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Real Bucks talk here, going over the Bucks offense and their 34-24 loss to the Los Angeles Rams. And let's start it off with some good notes. I mean, they did score touchdowns. We still scored 24. It wasn't that 30 points we like to see, and usually we win with, but let's go over it. So Chris Godwin here, just taking a handoff from Tom Brady, just showing how versatile he is as a player. Plus, break this down for me. Yeah, I think this was our first rushing touchdown of the season. So it was a nice creative play. Again, just have Godwin come in motion, hand it off to him. And he does a great job of understanding that the linebacker is still looking at the run. And, you know, Godwin's just going to take that gap that is there and, and and score the touchdown. So a good, good, nice play, good creative uh, uh, concept. A man's got a vision like a running back. And now... One-on-one, -on -one, Gio Bernard, sadly, gets hurt on this play, but touchdown near the end of the game. Break this down. I mean, one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker, that's going to be a win probably for Gio every time. What do you see? Right, you're absolutely correct. This is what you would call like a Texas concept where he's just going to run like an angle route, uh, kind of go out towards the flat and then cut it back across the middle and does a great job there catching the football. And, yeah, like you said, unfortunately – knee to knee contact there or helmet to knee yeah and here's something i really want to touch on and it's something that i think other teams are going to do against the bucks so what do you see here a little play action we always say play action works and ba says no we got to run the ball to get play action working i kind of agree with him here so watch what happens on this play action usually linebackers bait in because the threat of a run the rams called the bucks out on this and said you guys suck at running. We're not going to even give you any shadow of doubt that you're going to run the ball because you haven't shown you can run the ball. Our linebackers are just going to sit back and wait, cover in coverage, and look, there's nowhere to go. Nothing, nothing. And what do you know, two guys covering one guy down deep. The Rams said, I'm not getting, getting beat deep. Try it anywhere else, and we'll, we'll catch what's in front of us and stop you for a short game. And guess what? The Bucks literally had to do that. But the thing is, we kept running deep routes. And again, the Rams called us out on it. And what they do, they trusted their front four, and they got home on Tom Brady. What do you think about this? Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's, uh, you know, we've seen this before where, you know, we try to run deep concepts and, you know, teams are just not respecting us running the football because, you know, honestly, we, we don't we do not do that. So, you know, why not, you know, put players in, in there to stop the run, you know, stop the pass. You know, Tom Brady's our best player, so... They, they knew what to do here. Um, again, you see here play action, but look what works uh, screens because you're going into that space that is open because guys are dropping back into cover three, cover four looks. You're going to have space underneath in the flats. And, and that's where, you know, the Bucks probably should have attacked more often um, in this game and probably would have been more successful to get chunk plays like you see here. Yeah, so I don't know if I made it obvious enough or obnoxious enough. Look how immediately off the snap. What do guys do? Drop back. You have four or five guys, 10, 15 yards deep. Go underneath, make a player, make a move, and pick up yards. Again, it works again. I like saying again a lot, but a screen pass. Look at all the space. There's just nothing but space. You have guys dropping back per usual. Ends up being big gainer. Humongous gainer. Bucks need to adjust. They need to either the play caller needs to do it, Tom Brady at the line needs to do it. Because big one on one plays like this where guys are dropping back, cover three one-on-one -on -one with Mike Evans. Yes, he usually wins it, but look what's going on inside. I mean, that's like a tough throw, tough timing throw outside. They got to be in sync big time. But also, I want to give credit to Mr. Rojo over here. He messed up last week, got taken out of the game. Good little chip block here. Not the best, but it's enough. And it ended up getting a big gainer for Mike Evans. But the thing is, it, it shouldn't be that difficult. Do short routes like this, get things underneath, clear outs all on one side, and have one guy come underneath, and those are the plays that worked in this game. But they just didn't do it consistently. What did you see here? Right, you're absolutely right. And you know the the Rams continue to play coverage, and they were afraid of the deep ball. You know, getting beat behind them, and this is stuff the Bucks had to do more of. You know, running guys across the field, whether it be drags or crossers, and you know, hit them in, in that type of fashion. Yeah, and just more. Like, check this out: short routes. Short routes worked. Out routes, in routes. Anything underneath, because the Rams, like I said, did not want to get beat deep. You just see all, anything past 10 yards, we're not getting beat there. Beat us underneath, and we're going to attack you. And, again, you can't say it enough. Just, you got to adjust. Football is all about chess piece, chess game. You got to adjust. These short passes worked, and Godwin's really good at these. 
We just got to kind of find ways to, to attack the weaknesses a little bit more often and notice when teams are not trying to attack our running game or our play action's not even working. And then also, it does help to have Tom Brady reading the defense. If you give him any time, times like this, even though you see all these guys dropping back, what happens? Gronk gets lost. I don't know how. His 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six body gets lost, and Tom Brady finds him for a big gainer. What would you like with this one? Yeah, I mean, here it's just, again, Tom's got time, and it's a good concept where you have Gronk going across the field. But, again, it's a similar concept that we've seen earlier, you know, a crossing route, uh, you know, over route. You know, those are the type of things that have worked in the past, and it, it worked here for a nice gain as Gronk uh, gets very close to scoring. Yeah, and sadly, Gronk gets his ribs hurt in this game. I know for sure he's going to be playing next week. It's New England. I don't think I don't care if he's hurt at all. He's going to play. And then now more of Tom Brady's just talent, immense accuracy, play awareness, everything. Check him out here. Seeing Tyler Johnson is going to run a little in route or just a choice route where it's either going to go straight up or he's going to go away from leverage. Check out my guy over here. He's got more outside leverage than inside, and the deep safeties on the other side of the field. Brady sees this pre-snap. What does he do? There's no way that safety is going to get there in time. That guy was playing outside leverage. Let me dart this in there. TJ, ooh, almost. If he breaks that, he's got a touchdown. And again, check it from this angle. Insane. Look at the accuracy on this ball. Yeah, and that was great accuracy, like you said. Now we move into this next play. Again, it's just Tom understanding, you know, what leverage he has. He understands the safeties are playing inside, and now he's going to throw it to the outside uh, hash, outside the numbers. And it's a great job by you know, Tyler Johnson adjusting here, but he just understands that, you know, Chris Godwin, he's drawing a double team and Tyler's going to have outside leverage. Great throw here by Tom as he just, you know, puts that right on the money and a great catch and throw. And these are just really high level throws, things where consistently it's hard to make these throws. I mean, th this far down the field, the ball's going to be in the air for a while. Safeties are going to have time to react to this. I mean, there's three guys deep. It's just Tom noticing where space is, and leveraging to the outside. Even Johnson has to actually turn his whole body to make this catch because Brady doesn't want to throw us to that safety. So, I mean, this is a lot of processing, a lot of mental processing, and you have to have the time to make these throws and be accurate. Tom does that consistently, but it's tough when you're facing a good defense like the Rams that can get pressure on with just four players. And that's something the Bucks need to take into consideration moving forward. Again, it's one loss. Who cares, guys? This is something we, we can learn from. we got to make adjustments. That's all it is. We're two and one. We're moving forward. But guys, if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button down below. Sub subscribe if you haven't just yet. Comment down below. What do you think of the Bucks' offense? Where can they make their adjustments and changes to move forward and get better? And with that said, until the next one.